All right, I'm just going to do a quick follow-up on uh, this air conditioning unit. I'm actually getting some uh, people that are actually helping me here. I really, really appreciate that because I hate to scrap this thing if I don't have to. Um, yeah, that's nice. Uh, crack blade. Wow. No, oh, that's not good. Wonder when that happened. Anyway, um, here's the schematic. I've actually got it scanned so you can get a better view of it, but maybe it'll focus in. Um, basically, I've been searching for uh, relay. That's been the big thing, um, and I cannot find any external relays other than what's on the main circuit board. There's two here. Um, identified as RY6 and RY7. Um, RY6 basically controls the heater, so that's where it's tied in. There's no issue with it. RY7, um, basically it's got one wire that goes to P11, so RY7, which is this one right here. Um, there's the connection from here to P11. So you can actually, I don't know if you can see that, P11 on the board right there. So the other wire, which is this long one, goes all the way down here, follows right into the actual top of the compressor itself. Now, according to this schematic, it shows an overload relay um, in between, you know, pin number four and the compressor, but it's obviously not there. So, I don't know why it's listed and was probably not installed, but like I said, the main issue with this thing, as soon as you plug, you plug this thing up, um, it, you know, the compressor kicks on. Um, that's what you heard in the other video, and uh, it's causing some sort of overload where it's starting to you know, scorch these little um, switches here on the last motherboard, which I think I've got in here. Yeah, these pieces out of here. Okay, so yeah, you see the scorch marks on this one here by pin two and three. So that's these here, and I don't see any scorch marks yet. But again, you know, this thing, as soon as you kick power to it, it kicks on and was starting to, yeah, I could smell a little bit of uh, burning electrical smell, so before it started scorching anything more, um, yeah, I instantly unplug it. Uh, it is the compressor that's kicking on. The fan does not kick on. Um, the heater, you know, kicks on when, you know, when you select it on the control panel, you know, the little control panel uh, here, you know, to select the cool, dry, heat, whatever. So, um, but yeah, like I said, this is the only two relays that I can find. Um, again, labeled RY6 and RY7. Um, I don't see any burn marks on it. You know, there's a scorch marks here for some reason. It's back feeding to these three. Uh, I'm not sure what they call them. Um, I'm looking on the board here. And uh, there's a CN4, CN7. Okay, R, Y, 4, 3, and 2, so these are other relays, but yet I don't see them listed here, just R, Y, 6, and 7. So, yeah, that's odd. There is no R, Y, 2, 3, and 4 even identified on the schematic. So, yeah, that helps me a lot. And let's see, P1, 2, and 3, so that's them there. That's for the fan motor. Um, this big capacitor here is for the fan motor as well. So I know that's not the issue. Um, but uh, yeah, there's RY4, 3, and 2. So I mean, this is the right board. And I can't believe that, uh, you know, these relays would be uh, at fault. I mean, I can understand, all right, this one. You know, obviously it was getting scorched from, you know, getting too much power to it. Um, that's just weird why these, let's see, there's P1, 2, and 3. But yeah, those are the plugs. Those are those connections there. Um, I do not see a RY, 2, 3, and 4 at all. So, 
yeah, this schematic obviously doesn't help me much, you know. But like I said, um, right now I've, I've replaced this motherboard, I replaced this capacitor, um, and it still kicks on. And there's really nothing else attached to it. You know, you got the, con the uh, condenser uh, here, and I don't see any, anything other than plumbing, is what I call it, you know, copper tubing attached to it. The only thing I see is these three wires going to the top of the compressor. Something, you know, is causing this thing to stay on and will not turn off at all. So that's why I'm wondering if maybe there's something in here that, you know, if there's a switch or something inside this, you know, condenser that is staying on. Because I'm at a loss. You know, I've got two two circuit boards here. This is, and actually, this brand new one, I found it online and there was only one place out in California that had it. Everybody else was out of stock. Um, so, yeah, I'm at a loss. You know, I mean, I can understand it being a relay stuck on, but, you know, I've, you know, the only relays I see are on this board. This is a brand new board. Um, these are basically the same relays here, and I don't see any char marks on them, just on these smaller relays that go to P1, 2, and 3, and that's the fan motor. You know, so there's nothing wrong with the fan. The fan kicks on. There was not an issue with it. Um, you know, it spins. It's not locked up. And, uh, you know, as soon as I turned the power on with the remote control here, I mean, the fan kicked on. It would blow cold air, but again, the compressor was stuck on. And uh, when I tried to turn this thing off, you know, everything turns off, but the compressor stays on. So, you know, from what I can... Uh, you know, like I said, the only thing I can tell is that, you know, maybe there's something in here, like a switch or something, you know, that these three wires connect to on the inside of this canister that are, that's stuck on, and if that's the case, then, yeah, it's going to cost too much to fix. You know, the air conditioner is basically useless, because you got to cut that out, you know, re-solder, then re-free on everything, and, a you know, this compressor is running around two, yeah, $200, $230. And, you know, then labor and all that stuff, you know, I, I paid, you know, right around uh, $550 for this thing back in the day. So it would cost me almost as much, you know, to try to repair this if this is the problem. Um, you know, I don't know. But like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of still grasping the straws here. Why would this thing, you know, stay on the way it is? So, you know... I appreciate the suggestions. I'm, you know, again, I'm still grasping the straws. You know, if you've got any other ideas, by all means, send them, send them my way. Because I'm thinking, you know, I might make a couple phone calls. You know, I might possibly donate this thing to a school. You know, or I might call around to a few air conditioning places just, you know, for troubleshooting purposes. You know, get an idea. You know, they've got voltmeters, which I don't have, to test the, uh, you know, continuity and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm all I can do is kind of go with what I, you know, researched, and you know, the motherboard. Obviously, the main circuit board here was going bad because of the burn marks. Only thing other than that, in line, is this capacitor, and I replaced it. It's not the problem. So there is no other electrical uh, attached to that compressor at all. So everything else goes to the fan fan wiring and just these three wires to the compressor and there is no overload uh, relay in line from plug number four which is here to the compressor so I don't know maybe it should have been there that might have prevented this problem but uh, I don't know like I said I'm I'm just grasping at straws now because I have no clue why you know it's stuck on but you know I hate losing five hundred and fifty dollars you know it only lasted maybe seven eight years it didn't last all that long I've got other air conditioner heater combos inside that are running you know longer than this one so you know kinda of sucks but uh, for research purposes this model number is the AZEY18F7A uh, air conditioner it is 18,000 BTU air conditioning or cool and 16,000 BTU heating um, 
So basically that puts it at a one and a half ton uh, air conditioning system. So there you go. That's probably about the best I can do, you know, detail wise and just trying to get close ups of uh, the parts and electrical and all that. Um, and I'll, you know, I got a better view of the schematic. I scanned it and I'll get a quick shot of that to put at the end of this video. So again, thanks for the help and any further suggestions, by all means, you know, leave them in the comments and, uh, you know, I'd love to try to salvage this thing, maybe get it working again, but again, I'm, I'm at a loss, you know, what would, you know, keep this compressor on in the stuck on position. So, but I appreciate the help and uh, thanks again for watching. And again, here's that wiring diagram.